up next, millions of children suffer from them, different types of facial anomalies. Yeah, up next we're going to talk to oh, a couple of local experts who uh, are getting together to put together a new resource that's helping parents and children cope and get the best treatment they possibly can. It's coming up. We'll talk to them. Welcome back at 737. Now, cleft and lip palate are the most common facial birth defects affecting one in every 600 to 700 children. A group of medical students, dental students as well, at the University of Health Science Center here in San Antonio is trying to establish an online registry to help connect and support families who are dealing with those deformities. And a couple of the students are here this morning. This is Masood Saman, a medical student over at uh, UT Health Science Center, and Paria Etabari, right. dental student. Did I get that okay? That's right. Thanks Good for morning. being here, both of you. Thanks you know, for we've having been us. looking at some of the pictures here and it's a little difficult sometimes to see these these kids like this let me ask you Masood tell us about the partnership with the dental and the medical how did you guys get together to, to put this registry together um, like you said you know it is difficult to see these children um, suffering from what they do and and uh, one of the main things about this is that it's very spe uh, specialty specific at this time and one of our goals was to bring these different specialties together and uh, many of the specialists are over in the dental school and many in the uh, medical school and we wanted to bring them together and what better way than doing it through the student aspect of things uh, working from bottom up um, basically right now we're trying to put a registry together right. a database where we can get the community here in San Antonio and South Texas to sign up and so that we can have their information so that we can bring families together and uh, have them share their experiences because this is a long road that these babies have to go through and yeah. every step of the way the family has to go with them. They're beautiful. Paria, from a, from a dental standpoint, can you explain what is cleft and lip palate and, and how treatable, how correctable can it be? Sure. Cleft lip and palate is, like you said, the most common um, facial anomaly. Um, but uh, what happens is during um, formation, I guess, the palate doesn't close entirely so it leaves a gap in the palate of those kids and in the lip so there is a defect in the closure of the lip and the palate and uh, the way the dental school is involved is pre-surgically like I've been working with a doctor at the Health Science Center uh, Dr. Henson who does pre-surgical treatment with those kids and um, there's also orthodontic treatment that follows any kind of surgery to realign uh, their jaw and their uh, teeth so the dental school is really involved with uh, taking care of those kids as well as the medical school. Right, and as you said, Masood, you guys have uh, the registry put it together, chance to smile .com. Correct. Tell us about that and uh, how common, I mean, is this more common than we realize, these anomalies? You know it is. It's very ethnicity specific. Um, it, there are variations depending on, on race, um, but Overall, you could, as a general rule, use the 1 in 600 rule. Mm -hmm. um, one maybe out of uh, every 600 is born with a cleft lip or cleft palate. It is pretty common. Um, the, the issue is that there is a lot of social stigmas associated with this. Right. And one of the things that we, we, we would like to do is to raise social awareness about, about the issue so that um, these babies who already have to go through so many dental and medical treatments don't have to suffer as much psychological problems right. and psychosocial problems. And again, just a few seconds left, but with the registry, uh, uh, Paria, you guys are trying to accomplish what exactly? We're trying to get the families to um, find each other because uh, we can, we cannot really relate to the problem as they can, you know, when you have a child that's suffering from right. cleft lip and palate, you would want to connect with other people that really understand what you're going through and the best way was, I think, to connect the family so they can figure out what they need and share their experiences. Well, it is a lot more common, as you say, than and a lot of people might think. Again, the website, the registry is chance to smile.com. What we've done is put a link to that on our website, kbb.com. So you can find out more about what they're doing over at the UT Health Science Center. Paria, Masood, thank you so thank much for being here this Thanks morning. Thanks for having us. Keep up the good work, both of you. Thank, thank you. you. Okay, 741.